Haptics is really anything that has to do with the sense of touch and in haptic technology we are trying to design devices that let you feel virtual environments. The field of haptics has a lot of potential for different forms of human computer and human robot interaction and the idea is that we'd like to have computer programs that you can touch and feel and that would enhance your interaction with computational systems. In my lab we're trying to design novel haptic interfaces that uh, let skilled people like surgeons, for example, use haptic feedback when they're operating with devices like teleoperated surgical robots. Uh, in addition, we're very interested about the role of haptics in education. Can people learn from haptic feedback? A HapKit is uh, one of these haptic devices. Uh, a HapKit is a haptic device that uh, gets put together by the student. So a crucial part of it is that it comes in pieces with sensors and motors and a controller board and the students can assemble it themselves and then program it using their personal computers. And the idea is the HabKit is a relatively inexpensive sort of gateway haptic device that introduces students to the technology and uh, is yet powerful enough to help them learn a lot about the field. And then I think the other sort of avenue we're exploring is really redesigning it for 3D printing, which is becoming more ubiquitous. And that way um, people can actually go and just, you know, download our files and print their own. At the moment, our online course is a haptics course, so we're trying to teach haptic technology. But there's a lot of potential to take haptic technology and use it to teach other things. So maybe once you have a haptic device, you can use it to simulate uh, any physical environment that might be used in an introductory physics class, say. So a student somewhere else in the world could have a hapt hap kit or some other haptic device sitting on their desk, and they would be able to feel virtual environments through it. Uh, whether it be a, a physical environment, say to teach uh, springs and dampers in a physics course, or virtual dissection of a frog, say for biology class. We really want to understand how is interacting with these haptic devices going to help education across a broad variety of topics.